Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video about React components. So what is a component? Well, a component is actually a reusable piece of code, a reusable piece of UI, you could say. In this course, we are only going to use function components. Um, there's also this thing called class components, but by now you really shouldn't use class components anymore unless you have a really good reason to do so. Um, so to give you a little bit of an idea what I mean with a component, um, we will head over to pinterest.com and right here on their site you see all these um, categories and what they have in common is that they all look the same except for the text and the image but you can see that the hover effect is the same the border radius is also similar and if I click for example right here on animals you will see that same thing gets used right here and you will see this in many more apps right if we go down here you see that these are also cards they of course they look different but they are somewhat similar so let's for example go to kittens right here and also here we have this card and if you scroll down these are all look very much the same except for the images of course and the content that's in there so let's say we want to build this card with react and i'm going to do it in a very simplified way for demonstration purposes so first of all i can remove this and i can remove this as well all right, so let's say we have a div. And again, I will keep it very simple. We have an image in here um, with a source. Uh, I will add that later and an alt of, let's call it animal. And I will go over to unsplash.com. And I will search for an image of a cat. Yeah, that's yeah. Take this one. I will copy it, put it in here, and uh, let's say it has a name, so we will call it um, Boat Chat, and it has a link as well, um, and it, for example, links us to cats. So I could say um, more information, something like this. So now if I save this and I head back over to here, now the image is a little bit too big. So what I will do here, and again, I don't recommend you to do this because this is very bad practice. And in the um, styling section of this course, we will get into proper ways of handling styling in your React apps. But for now, I will say it, I uh, will do some inline styling. Okay, there we go. So let's say we need to show two cards on this page. So I will simply um, copy this div right here. Again, we can use our um, React Fragment tags. So when you save it, there we have it, two cards. Now let's say the designer comes in and asks us to put the uh, animal category down below the name. So I could say, well, for sure I can do that. I could say, uh, let's say cats, and I could copy and paste it. Save it. There we go. Now, you can imagine that in the case of Pinterest, uh, assuming that these cards are used in multiple places in their application, uh, it would be extremely burdensome to change, like for every card, the, um, the title, or at least the, uh, the, the, the animal category. So that's where components come in. So what I could do, I could go right here to my source uh, folder and I will create a new one. I will call it components and I will say card or actually I will not add a file. I will add a folder. We'll call it card and I will add a card.jsx. So JavaScript XML. And I could say right here, 
export default function card. And I can return and see how this is the same as our app. Um, however, right here, they say export default, but I prefer to do it right here. And I will just copy and paste the contents of the card. I will save it. And now, instead of rendering this twice, I could render the card component, which you see right here. I can tap and it will automatically import it for me right now. I could render the card twice and you will see it will still work. And now I hope you got the idea why components are so nice because maybe they want the image to be a little bit wider. Well, I just have to change it in one place and it will be done for all our components in our application. So, of course, this is a very basic example about React components. And in the advanced part of this course, uh, you will find a video called React Component Architecture, um, where you will get a more advanced understanding of how to use components in React. But for now, this is all you need to know about React components. I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.